Is your Android phone running out of space? Are you creaking at the seams with too much stuff on it so that it actually becomes impossible to add anything? Well, never fear, I am here to share my top tips to free up your Android internal storage. Hi, I'm Amanda Littlecott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that little bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Do you have large video files or you've just downloaded the most amazing app and you literally can't fit any more on your Android phone? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you my top tips to freeing up space on your Android phone. Tip one, use Google Files. If you're using Google to back up your phone, you can also use it to use Google Files to help sort your phone. Although Google is standard, you might need to download the Google Files app so you will need to do that first, and then you can use it to find and delete stuff that you may not want. Once you have downloaded the Google Files app, you just open it up and go to clean. It then gives you some options of areas you might want to delete, such as junk, duplicates, blurry photos, large files, and recordings. So you can just go through each section and clear out that clutter. Tip two, check apps you don't use. We all download apps and then forget that they are there. And they are happily there using up storage space. Now is the time to clear out some of those apps that you definitely are not using. To find the apps that you don't use, go to the Play Store app. Tap your icon in the upper right hand corner and select Manage Apps and Device. Select the Manage tab and check that Installed is selected. And if it isn't, select it. To the right of the apps heading, you'll see the sorting icon. It looks like some little lines. Tap on it and select least used. Now you can see the apps that you've barely used. Tick the ones that you don't want anymore and then select the delete button. And then select uninstall and you are done. Tip three, get rid of app stored data. You may want to keep the app, but you may not actually want all the cache data to stay as well as it's there clogging up your phone. So you can go and clear that data out. It might make the apps perform a little bit slower, but if you're not using the apps very often, it's probably a good idea to have a bit of a clear out. Go to settings and go to apps. Click on the sorting icon like some little lines and select size. Now you have to scroll through for the apps that you don't often use and tap on the app name. Then go to storage and clear data or clear cache. The clear cache should be your first port of call. Only clear the data storage if you know exactly what you are deleting. Tip four, store your photos online. Photos and videos can be some of the most space sucking items on your phone. But if you are backing them up to another photo cloud storage, then you can delete them from your phone. But before you get delete happy, make sure they are actually backed up before you delete them or they will go from everywhere. Not sure which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my other video on the best cloud storage for your photos in the link above. It leaves out the tech speak and focuses on what is best for your photos. So check it out. Tip five, empty the downloads folder. When was the last time you emptied your downloads folder? Yes, that folder that you download all that random stuff to and then totally forget about. Well, a clean out will also help with your storage space. To find all that stuff that you've downloaded, the best way is to use Google Files again. Open Google Files and go to Browse, then select Downloads. Then you can select one by one, or if you want to select everything, you can select one with a long tap and then go to the three dots in the top right hand corner and select all. And then unselect what you want to keep and press the delete button. Now isn't that cleaner? Tip six, delete offline maps in Google Maps. If you didn't know that you could download and do offline Google Maps, then this is going to be a revelation for you. But yes, you can take Google Maps and download them to your phone so you can use it offline if you're traveling where you don't want to suck up all your data or you're going to be somewhere with no signal. But 
Once you've finished your trip, when was the last time you deleted those offline maps? Well, now is the time to delete them. So open up Google Maps and tap on your profile picture. Select offline maps and hit the three dot menu next to the downloaded areas and then tap delete and confirm by selecting yes and your offline maps will have gone. Now you've freed up that space, you can go and create some more memories by taking even more photos and videos. But remember to keep on top of these top tips, otherwise you're going to end up exactly where you started. Do you know any other great tips for freeing up your Android internal storage space? Then leave them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the links below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.